morning from Jalen Robbins, uh, Kentucky Valley. Here, I am digging a hole. I'm about almost two foot deep to put a post in here. I'm going to just put a little handrail up. with uh, just temporary just something to hold on to you know just because we're getting older don't mean we need to be stupid about stuff so I think I've about got the whole dug right probably about two foot deep maybe Let's see if we can see it here About two foot deep. Now I'm going to go get me a post, and uh, what we're going to do is lead it up here to the stairway here, and uh, we'll be back here in a few minutes. I'll uh, give you an update on it. God bless. Okay, I got me a couple posts here. Uh, one for the going up towards the porch. The other one for a handrail. And then I found this one here. It's a little bit thicker and stuff. Make up the support post uh, down beside the steps there. Want to be nice and firm. And we can cut them off to the level we want. So just because you're older don't mean you can't do this stuff. Just do it smarter. <laughs> I know I shouldn't even be doing it right. Anyway, I'm going to try and do this and film it at the same time. I don't know. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick that end up, have it over here, and then I'm going to take and lean it on this, and then I'll scoot it the rest of the way up there. Doesn't mean I have to, you know, manhandle it. No offense out there towards any men. This is with one hand, though. <laughs> so gonna lay us down here now there we go okay now I'm gonna pick this end up holding the camera at the other end on the other hand okay now I'm just gonna scoot it across that one hand there there you go I don't have to go too far so I'll go slow with it it don't need to be real secure so now I got my post let's go and see about maybe taking some shavings off of them and uh, seeing if we can fit them around there. So, uh, catch up with me later. Like and share. God bless. There's a couple of them. Okay, let's get this other one out. Okay, okay I got my three posts there. Now I'm going to go get me a draw knife. I believe these are white oaks. So uh, I'll go get me a draw knife and uh, try and get some of that bark off of there. Bark kind of rottens them. So uh, let's go do this. I should have had my draw knife all the way out here. Draw a nice home, yes. Let's go see. There it is. This is the home. Okay, there we go. Our pastor, Brother Chuck, gave me this draw knife. I thought that was cool out of it. 
Uh, what you do is you put it on your pole, and I'll show you this later, and you bring it back towards you on the bark. It's a hard way and an old way, but it's a still a good, sufficient way. Dog is in the house where it's cool. I'm trying to beat the sun and the heat. I don't think I'm gonna beat it though. But I got other things to do when it gets hot, then I'll go over and start doing the other stuff. There's dog, and uh, dog's got his water there. No, actually, that's my water because, as you can see, the sun is beating me here. I don't have a whole lot of time before it gets to me, maybe a half hour or so. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead and start on these posts. I already have a little bit with the draw knife, uh, that's the one that my pastor gave us. Um, so I'm going to do this. Make sure you have a wet towel or something around your neck on a real hot day. It's like the index is supposed to be like 104 or something like that. I'm not sure. I'm hoping you guys can see right there. So what I did was I just took me a, I just took one of my shirts here, wetted it down, and just wrapping it around my neck, keeping me cool. I'm going to take and like put my post in position here. Okay, I'm going to try and hold it with my legs here. There we go. And then you're just going to take the knife and come back down like this with it. Don't have to be perfect. And then I'm going to leave those shavings about where they're at because I've got some hard ground here. It's not going to grow anything. And I can use it like a mulch. Don't take long to do. And if I get down so far, I'll turn it around. Okay. Just twist it again. Okay. About right there. on a potato. fast. Like I said too, this is just temporarily. Temporary. You know, you little women out there, you guys can do this. You know, you know don't put it all on your husbands. Especially if they're out bringing home the bacon. It's an old saying. I'll get this up here later. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn this around. There we go. Right. This side now. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and try and get all these done. And I'll be back with you guys shortly. Make sure you like, hit, share, like, all that other good stuff my husband tells you to do. And uh, we'll be back with the finished product, hopefully soon. This is 
good old clay here. It'll harden up like a rock. Stomp it down in there as good as I can. Then I got a Louisville Slugger here. Derek Jeter on there. Anyway, we're going to take that and we're going to pack it down in there real good. Camping pole you can do this with. But when we moved here, I think we left it in Georgia. So, this There's always a way to do something. You just gotta figure it out. I don't figure it out very often, but I try. As long as you try, that's what matters. Just temporary. We don't need to put no concrete or nothing around it. Just something in case somebody comes. I've got a few friends that use canes and stuff and walk around. So, I'm gonna make it safe so if the hand will help. That's what we're gonna do. That should be tight enough to where I can knock that up there after a while. I got my hand rail already skinned down, but I don't have my other post it's going up there. So we can kind of mock it and see what it looks like. just a little bit just for give a little place for this to sit and I'm just going to use nails for it you know what there we go I remember my dad setting fence posts where I was born and raised back in here in Ohio this is where you can get a thing in there really good. Okay. All right. Let's see what else we can get into now. Just I spray that. Just for a little chiller. This is the part that's going in the ground. You got some lung issues or something, try and cover your mouth up, your nose. You don't have to be exact, nothing pretty. Now 
we'll go ahead and start doing the other one. This right here is going to be the arm. Yeah. Hey, Chewy. Hey, dog. Uh, you don't like your picture taken, do you? Just like me. All right. I put a little angle on this post here to bring it down. And then I did a little angle on this post here. <clears throat> I just did it with the chainsaw. It's not no pretty thing, but it works. And like I said, this is temporary. And again, with the chainsaw, I put a little notch in this. Just so it would, uh, you know, kind of hang on there. And my husband said he'd come in and uh, put some holes in it and put some screws in it and stuff, you know, just so it'll hold good. So I'm going to try and hold my camera and do this at the same time. See if that'll fit in there. There we go. Up a little bit. Okay, that goes there. And that goes right there, like so. And my husband said he was going to come up later on when he gets a chance and drill some holes in here and put some screws in here and make it a little bit sturdier, but it's good. So this is me finishing up and me giving it over to my husband, and he'll follow up with it and tell you what he saw when he came home. Anyway, hit like, share, and you all have a blessed day. God bless.